The purpose of this video is to demonstrate a head-to-toe examination. Uh, and really what we're trying to show here is how you take all of the different system exams, which we've covered in other sessions, and put them together in one continuous flow as you go through the exam. What we're going to show you today is really just one flow, one way you can put the uh, different system exams together in a way that reduces the number of times that the patient has to change position and the number of times that you have to change positions around the patient. This is both for patient comfort as well as for your own efficiency sake. This is not the only order in which you can put the exam together. Uh, there are many different reasons why you might do the exam in a different order. The reason the patient is there to see you today. This particular exam is being shown for a patient with no symptoms and no chief complaint who is coming in for just a complete screening examination. If your patient has a specific problem or uh, has a specific area of concern, you'll spend more time on that area and you'll spend more time talking about that area of concern. Also, you might change the flow of the exam based on your patient's age. An older patient who has mobility problems may have to have the exam done in a different order, or a small child, um, due to their fear or reaction to the exam, would have to have the exam done in a different order. The other thing that we're going to demonstrate today is how do you communicate with a patient during the exam. The purpose of this communication is to let the patient know what's going to happen to their bodies. No one should be startled by the physical exam, um, and so that they understand what findings that you have. We're not narrating all of the details on how one performs the exam. Uh, if you want to see those details, you really need to look at the other systems exam videos or refer to uh, your materials on the different systems exams. The communication that we're doing here is specifically meant to demonstrate how one communicates with a patient during the encounter. Uh, so now what we'll do is move on to the head-to-toe examination. Hello, I'm Dr. Christine Kaufman, and I've come in here to do your uh, head-to-toe examination today. Um, before we get started, can you go ahead and verify for me your name and date of birth? Yes, it's Rachel Green, 10 to 75. Okay, great. Um, before we move forward, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. So, did you have any difficulty finding your way here today? I did not. All right. Uh, so, no parking issues or anything like that? Not at all. Very um, Walmart. Perfect, perfect. And it's close by. So. Oh, that makes it easier. That makes it easier. Sometimes the traffic around here is is quite interesting. Yeah. All righty. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to start with a general inspection. You appear to be sitting very comfortably. Uh, and the areas of your skin that I can see don't have any bruising or anything like that, or any sores. Do you have anything that you're concerned about? Um, no. No. Perfect. Um, so we'll look at the rest of your areas of your skin when we do the rest of the exam. All right. Um, so next we're going to move on to your vital sign. So I'm actually going to ask you to move into a chair for me. So I'm just going to move this chair right here. If you want to go ahead and have a seat. All right. And your feet are comfortably on the ground? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to move this out so you have a place to rest your arms. So I'm just going to have you scoot there. Okay, perfect. And then I'm just going to sit down here with you. All right. So I'm going to start with your pulses. So can I see your other hand? You can relax this hand. Alrighty. Uh, so I did check your pulse and your respiratory rate at the same time. Your heart rate was 60 and your respirations were 12, which is normal. Okay, perfect. 
So um, we've already checked your temperature before you came in, so we don't need to do that. Um, are you comfortably leaning back against that chair? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check your blood pressure. Alrighty, and we've checked to see that this is the appropriate size cuff for you. Okay, perfect. I just want you to relax your hand down on that table for me. Okay, I got 118 over 70. Alrighty, so I apologize. There appears to be a little bit of a leak in this cuff, so I had to pump it up again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and move back up onto the table. Alrighty, move this chair out of the way. Alrighty, um, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is take a look at your head, hair, and your scalp. Um, and do you have any abnormalities or concerns in your head? No, no nothing like that? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to have to move your hair a little bit so I can get a look at your scalp, see the areas that you can't normally see. Okay. I will try not to mess up your hair. No worries. All righty. And you said there's no pain or discomfort anywhere on here? Nothing. All righty. Let me look at the other side. Alrighty, and I'm just gonna touch your head. And again, you said there's no pain or discomfort. No. All right, perfect. And I don't see anything abnormal. Good. All right. Um, so now what we're gonna do is move on to your face. And so I'm just gonna touch a couple of the glands. You let me know if any of these cause you any pain or discomfort. All right, and now we're gonna check your jaw. So I'm just gonna have you open and close your mouth for me. And one more time. All right, perfect. Um, so now what we're going to do is check your eyes. So I'm just going to actually close your eyes for me real quick. And I'm just going to palpate the tear duct, excuse me, tear gland, which is up in here. Alrighty, and I don't see any abnormalities and your eyebrows look normal. Can you go ahead and open your eyes for me? All right, now what I want to do now is check inside your eyes a little bit. So I'm just going to ask you to tilt your head down just a tiny bit and look up. All right. And I don't see any abnormalities there. Perfect. All right. Um, so next what I'm going to do is check your ears. So I'm going to start by looking at them and seeing if there's anything behind. I don't see anything. And the same thing on the other side. Just turn your head a little bit for me this way. Okay, great. Perfect. Um, and so now we're just going to check the insides of your ears. All right. We'll start with this ear. We're just going to check this other ear out over here. Okay. All right. Now, you have a reasonable amount of earwax, which is normal, but I really couldn't see much of the tympanic membrane on that side or the eardrum. Um, this one looked fine. Any pain or discomfort in that other ear? No. Okay. Any problems with hearing? No. All right. Perfect. Okay, 
So we're just going to do a quick hearing screen then. Um, I'm just going to rub my fingers together and I'm going to ask you to tell me what you can hear. So you hear what I'm talking about? That sort of swishing noise? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um, so what I'm going to ask you to do is close your eyes and I want you to tell me on which side that you hear it. You can either tell me or you can point. Okay. Left. Left. Right. Okay, perfect. And that was perfectly normal. All right. Uh, so next, I want to go ahead and check out your nose. Uh, and any pain or discomfort there? No. All right. And your nose looks symmetrical, so that's good. Well, normal. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I'm just going to have you tilt your head back a little bit for okay. me, and I'm just going to look up inside your nose really quick. All right. Looks normal. Um, so I just need to check and see if you have any problems with airflow in your nose. So I want you to actually just put your no finger and close one of your nostrils and take a breath for me in. All right, perfect. Now do the other one. All right, perfect. Sounds normal. So I'm then going to go ahead and move on to your mouth. So I'm going to ask you to open up really big for me and say, ah. Uh -huh. All right, and I can see the back of your mouth without the tongue blade, so I won't need that part. But I do need to see the rest of your mouth. So what I'm going to do is have you open your mouth again, and I'm just going to move your lips away from your teeth and gums so I can get a quick look at both. And the same thing on the upper part of your mouth. All right, perfect. And if you could just lift up your tongue and touch the roof of your mouth. Perfect. All right, everything looks normal. Okay, so now we're going to check your glands. All right, we're going to start with the back of your head. See if you have any swollen nodes. Behind your ears, in front of your ears. Underneath your jaw, and now down underneath your neck. And then on this side. And then on this side. All right, I'm just gonna actually just pull your gown forward a little tiny bit sure. so that I can look above your collarbones. All right. And I don't feel any lumps or bumps there, so everything feels normal. All right, I just wanna take a quick look at your neck because we're gonna do your thyroid exam next. Um, so I'm gonna ask you to just swallow for me really quick. All right, perfect. So now I'm gonna feel for your thyroid gland. I'm gonna have to step around behind you to do that. Okay, and if you could just swallow for me again. All right, perfect. And everything felt normal there. All right, perfect. All right, so now that we've done that part of the exam, we're gonna go ahead and move on to your lung exam. In order to do that, I do need to take a quick look at your chest. Um, so if you could go ahead and lower your gown for me so I could see that part. All right, so we're just gonna start here by looking at the front, and I'm just gonna move around to the side and the back and I don't see anything abnormal. So next, I'm just gonna check for how well your lungs expand. So I'm just gonna sit here behind you for a second and put my hands on your back. All right, now take a deep breath for me and relax. All right, perfect. And that looked normal. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to tap on your chest for a second. All right, that sounded normal. We do the same things on the side. Um, so I'm going to have you lift up this arm for me. And could you just pull down your sports bra a little bit for me? And then the same thing on the other side. All right, normal. And the same thing on your back. I'm just going to lift up your sports bra a little bit. Is that okay? Yes. All right, I'm just going to return it to where it was. Okay. And everything sounded normal. Now we're going to listen. And when I listen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my stethoscope on your chest. And every time I do that, I'm going to ask you to take a full breath through your mouth. Okay. Here we go. All right. 
And then the same thing as your side, if you could lower your sports arm again. Thank you so much. And again on this side. All right. And I'm just going to lift up your sports rod again, if that's okay. All right. All right. So all of that sounded normal. All right. Um, so you can go ahead and put your gown back up. So for this next part of the exam, what I need to do is listen to your heart. And we need to have you lean back a little bit. So let me adjust the bed for you. Okay. Okay, and if you want to go ahead and lay back, and then I'll pull the thing out for your feet. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is take a look at the vessels in your neck. We're just going to use a little bit of a light. I can shine across it and take a look. You can just tilt just a little bit more that direction for me. I should have asked you to do that first. All right, and I can see that and it looks normal. All right, so now I'm just gonna feel for the pulses in your neck. All right, that was normal. And one last thing, listen to them. And when I lay my stethoscope down, if you could just hold your breath for a moment. All right, and just breathe normal. And then again, when I lay my stethoscope down, just hold your breath for a second. All right. Sounds normal. Okay. Um, so now what I need to do is take a quick look at your chest wall again. I'm just going to look for any changes in your heart while we do that. So if you wouldn't mind lowering your gown just a little bit for me. And again, I don't see any abnormalities that I would expect to be associated with your heart. So now I'm just going to touch your chest wall and see if I can feel any vibrations. And do you just mind moving your sports part just a little tiny bit for me? Alrighty. And then the same thing, if you wouldn't mind lifting it up here on the side. Exactly. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to feel for here is where your heart hits the chest wall. Uh, I can't quite feel it, which is normal, um, but I'm going to ask you to roll over to your left side because that can sometimes help me feel it. Okay. And I'm just going to leave my hand here while we do it. Perfect. All right, you can roll back. All right, and that was all normal. So now I'm just going to listen in those exact same spots with my stuff. Okay. All right, and then I need to get to that spot right there again. All right, and then underneath here. All right, if you would just hold one second, I just need to switch my stethoscope over. Okay, and then back up here. Okay, thank you for that. All right, and all of that sounded normal. Perfect. You can go ahead and put your gown back up. So what I'm going to do now is check the other pulses that you have. Okay. So I'm going to start with your arms. And this one over here. There it is. All right, I did the pulses with your hands when we did your uh, vital signs, uh, but now I need to check the pulses in your legs. The first one I need to check is sort of high up on your leg. It's sort of right in that crease where your leg meets your belly. So that's where I need to feel. So if you wouldn't mind raising your gown up for me and lowering your shorts just a little bit for me so I can find that spot. All right, and then on this side. 
All right, perfect. You can go ahead and raise your gown. Let's see your shorts. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So now what I'm going to do is check behind your knee. So I'm just going to bend this leg a little bit and push. It's pretty deep up underneath your leg. Your knee, excuse me. All right. And then the same thing on this side. You could just relax it a little bit for me. There we go. That's better. All righty, and go ahead and relax your leg. We're going to check the pulses in your feet. There they both are. All right, and then the tops of your feet. There are a lot of pulses. <laughs> All right. Um, and while I'm here, I'm just going to check and see if you have any swelling in your feet. Nope. And no swelling. So perfect. All right. Um, so now what I'm going to do is move on to your abdomen. So what I need to do for that is to lay you flat a little bit. And do you mind sitting up just a little tiny sure. bit so I can lay this down? I don't want to drop you. All right, go ahead and relax. Um, so now I need to get a, a good look at your abdomen. So would you mind raising up your gown? Sure. And I need to see the whole abdomen. So we just need to lower your shorts a little bit. So they're about the level of your hip bone. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to do an inspection and see if I see anything. I do notice you have a small scar. And that was the scar we had in your records from before, correct? Yes. Um, so and I don't see any other abnormalities to be concerned about. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is listen for your bowel sounds. All right, and that sounds normal. So now I'm just going to listen for the pulses, the different blood vessels. All right, and all of that sounded normal, so perfect. All right, so now I just need to tap on your belly really quick. All right, and that all sounded normal. Uh, and now I need to just tap for some very specific organs. So we're going to start with your liver. Alrighty, and I'm going to ask you, we have to go now from the top down, so I'm just going to ask you to raise your sports bra for me a little bit. Alrighty, and so about that width. Perfect. Uh, you can relax your hands now. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side only for your spleen. And your liver seemed normal. Alright, so that last rib spot, I'm just going to tap. Perfect. Uh, and I'm just going to ask you to deep breath and hold it. All right, it was the same, perfect, normal. You can relax. All right. um, so now we're gonna feel for your liver. Your liver we know is high up underneath your rib cage. So I'm gonna ask you to take a deep breath for me. Let it out. All right, and that felt normal. Any pain or discomfort when I did that? None. All right, perfect. And then the same thing on this side. And relax. And I didn't expect to feel your spleen and I didn't, so that was good. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just palpate around your abdomen. You let me know if there's any pain or discomfort. I'm going to start just doing it lightly. And now I'm going to do it again, but just much deeper. And again, any pain or discomfort, you let me know. All righty, no pain or discomfort there. So we're going to go ahead and cover that back up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and ask you to sit back up again. Um, and I am just going to tap on your back really quick. You tell me if this bothers you. No pain or discomfort there? No pain. All right, perfect. All right. Um, well, we've gone through and, oh, I'm sorry there. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, we've gone through and done your entire exam, and I don't see any abnormalities or any concerns. Did you have any areas of concern that we have not covered while we were doing this today? Nothing. Oh, perfect. Any questions that you have at this particular point? 
No, just have to get everything seen as normal. All right, well, great. Um, so with that being done, um, we'll go ahead and um, get you set up. We can go ahead and get dressed now um, and we'll get you set up to get out of here. Great. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. So now that we've shown uh, the basic flow of the exam, I wanted to point out a few areas where a slightly different patient positioning may be needed based on uh, you as an individual or based on the individual patient. Um, so what I showed during this exam is sort of propping up on the side of the bed so I can get directly behind the patient. Again, for different individuals because of the height of the bed or the patient's body habitus, this may or may not work for you. Um, so other things that you can do, um, you don't have to sit, sit up on the bed. You can stand next to the bed and lean over and then do the exam in that direction. Um, another option that you have is actually to have the patient turn on the bed if the bed positioning allows for it. So just ask the patient to swing their legs to the other side. Um, and then I can do everything I need to do on the back of the patient while standing directly behind them on the bed. You could rotate back the other way. Um, if that isn't an option for you, other options include, um, in this particular room, we have a footstool available for you. Uh, you can always use that to raise up your height so that you can better get access to the patient, uh, the footstool here. Um, if that isn't an option for you, frequently in a hospital room, that wouldn't be an option. But in a hospital room, the bed is either already lower or you can lower the bed uh, to make it work for you and for the patient that you're examining. 